This just very well may be one of the realest things I've never said on Jody's Corner. Nah, it's not. Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I've seen many real things on my channel, so this is by far not going to be the realest, but it's going to be real. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Bill Cosby was set up. He has been vindicated. The legal system has failed this black man, and now he is free. There is legal bias out here. There is systemic racism within law, within county and infrastructure, within housing. It's all over the place. And the situation that happened here in Pennsylvania with this Supreme Court finding that Bill Cosby's uh, civil rights, his his constitutional rights were violated when a private when a deposition that was supposed to be private, unbeknownst to Bill Cosby, was used in a criminal case over 10 years later, which ended up getting him sent to prison. I got a lot to say. First things first. I'm happy that Bill Cosby is free. Now, I know there's a lot of SJWs and weirdo PC motherfuckers who are mad that I, I like that Bill Cosby has been freed. Stick around and listen to the video and you might learn some shit or you might hate me more. It's YouTube, by the way. Bill Cosby had 60 women come out and say that he did inappropriate things to them. In the height of the Me Too movement, Harvey Weinstein was accused before Bill Cosby really was and, pros and, and, and sent to court. Bill Cosby was after Weinstein, but ended up getting his court case finished before Weinstein's and sent to prison while Weinstein was still fighting in the court. Weinstein is an actual abuser. Weinstein, there's lots of evidence against Weinstein. Weinstein is actually out here doing the grown-up in the worst way possible. Weinstein is trash. Weinstein belongs in prison and to die there. Does Bill Cosby? I don't think so. This is exactly why I'm happy he's out. A lot of people have a lot to say about Bill Cosby. I'm just going to keep it a buck. Bill Cosby, you have built a career based on not cursing, not swearing, not using vulgarities in your comedy bits. You've grew, you made a career in bashing other comedians for using cuss words and for making them feel small like they're not living up to your stature. You've bashed rappers. You've bashed people who like hip-hop music. You've bashed black people for not being respectful and loyal to black women. You have bashed people for sagging. Pick your pants up. Don't, don't slur. Don't use hip-hop rhetoric. You have built an entire career and spent decades making other people feel bad because they couldn't live up to the Bill Cosby standard. Oh, and there was a Bill Cosby standard. You were America's dad. You were the only nigga that was accepted by white people in the 80s as America's anything. My brother, you have made it. But at the same time, bro, you have turned out to be just the very same thing that you've been preaching against, you motherfucking hypocrite. Bill Cosby, you are a hypocritical piece of shit and your whole career should be done after this. You... You get mad at people for disrespecting black women, yet you had a wife that you cheated on with over 60 women, bruh, over 100, probably over 200, doing quaaludes and roofies and drinking and all that. You were doing the same shit you were telling black people not to do, falling for toxicity, falling for the booze, falling for the drugs, falling for the sex. You were a freaking hypocrite, bro, and I'm ashamed of you. Does that mean that I feel like you deserve to be in prison, violated your constitutional rights as a black man going through the legal system, getting shafted? Nope, because that's the unbiased within me. Bill Cosby was done wrong, y'all. And this chick right here, Constant, Miss Constant. So Miss Constant, let me tell you a little gist of how this all went down. Miss Constant used to have an, a, a fling romant, romanticized with my man Bill Cosby back in the day. All right. Bill Cosby had a long relationship with this woman. He had private dinners with, with fireplaces and wine. And she came over for dinner and they ate. They did some romance. And Bill Cosby said, I, wanted to, I had her face close like this. And we were inches apart, but I didn't lean in to kiss her. 
Well, why didn't you lean in and kiss her, Bill? Because I felt like she didn't want me to. So Bill is on deposition saying that. I didn't kiss her on the date. But then later, months, months later, she came again. She came again. She came to this. Now fast forward to this next dinner where she came over. She wanted some, she wanted some uh, pills to help her relax. So he gave her some. Then they had some foreplay. And he was messing with her. And she came, climaxed, had an orgasm. The mother found out. Mother said, Bill, how could you do this? So Constant ran home and told Mama a different story. Bill was like, yo, you tell her about how, how you came? Climax? Did you tell her about the nasty words you were telling me while I was doing it? Sexual words? She was 100% into it. Let's keep it a buck. You're Bill Cosby at the height of your career. These are young women who want to be famous, who are coming to your house at odd times of the night asking for drugs, asking to drink, knowing you got a wife. So these people aren't innocent. They're cloud chasers. Constand is a cloud chaser, bro. Constand is a cloud chaser because in 2005, they had a private deposition. A private deposition that was private because the prosecuting attorney from Philadelphia at the time for Constand told Bill Cosby, this will not be used and we will not press criminal charges. This deposition will be private and secure, bro. Well, Bill was like, all right, I'm gonna keep it 100 then. I'm just gonna tell, and these are the things that he said. And Constant sued him and got $3 million from Bill Cosby in 2005, 16 years ago. So why almost 10 years later, you coming out, talk about, oh, he raped me. He touched me. He did this. He did that. Oh, I know why. It's the Me Too movement came out, bro. The Me Too movement I'm officially branding is toxic, bro. The Me Too movement has done good things. Yes, it has. It's brought nasty, sleazy whack motherfuckers who can't get a girl the right way to justice like harvey weinstein but has also tried to cancel and belittle innocent people like brad pitt aziz azari bill cosby the homie andy didn't got me too a lot of other people have got me too misfired it's done more harm than good bro because what me too has become is not about justice it's a lynch mob it's about we believe you. When anybody says, when any movement says, we believe you no matter what you say, we automatically believe you. That's something that I don't want to be a part of, bro. I want you to be able to doubt me if it doesn't make sense. When you just believe everything that a victim says for fact, and when you use stupid, ignorant, scary, trash words like, or phrases like, their truth, oh, she's telling, Gloria Allred, she's telling her truth, their truth, my truth. What the freak is that? These are called lies. That's what we call those. There's only the truth. The truth is the only thing that matters. And the truth usually ends up coming to light. And that's what's happening here. Constan, you went to this old man's house to get some clout because he was rich. He was probably unattractive to you, but it didn't matter because his pockets was deep. You took those quaaludes, you took those pills, you took those drugs, you let him slide up in your hole and make you climax and come, saying the nastiest words to this man. You regretted it later. You got paid for it, hushed up. And then 10 years later, when the Me Too movement hit, you said, you know what? He touched me. Are you kidding me? That's what this is, bro. And then all these other women, you know, because when, when Gloria Allred starts to talk, women all of a sudden just come out. You know what? I think he did touch me when he he did hug me that one time inappropriately. His hand was right above my crack. He me too. Me too. Woman after woman after woman after woman after woman come forward with the same type of accusations, saying the same exact thing. Why? narrative an agenda what is in it for other women who will come forward well easily you get on tv number two if your story's convincing enough you'll get a, a paid exclusive on tv abc nbc cnn msnbc fox news what you want a hey, easy way to make 10 20 30 40 60 g's for a paid exclusive right there's something if there's incentive in there you have to judge it you have to question it if there's incentive for women to come forward you got to look forward to what that incentive is and these women just some of these women i believe that i'm gonna keep it a buck do i believe that cosby was uh was uh doing some creepy shit as far as like him being a sex deviant or something you know maybe they were consensually having foreplay and he went too far and she said stop and he was like, oh, okay okay acting weird sure rape no 
Okay, let's get this. What you're telling me is that a black man in the 1970s and the 1980s, when racism was thick, a black man, mind you, a black, let me say it. <clears throat> a black man in the 60s, in the 70s and the 80s was raping white women and getting away with it with a huge cover up. Nigga miss me. If you believe that shit, bro, go and click off this video and go to ones that's lying to you. You need to step up, stay off that bubble you watching. You crazy as shit. They look for reasons to get black men out of power. Bill Cosby went up and said, I want to buy NBC. As soon as he, I want to buy NBC. Oh, you want to buy our network, huh? For sure. Dig up the dirt. Get him out of here. Let me tell you something right now, man. This fool Bill Cosby is not a good person. He's really not. He's a hypocritical freaking liar. That's what he is. I'm ashamed of him. But he's rich. He's black. He's powerful. There's a lot of women that would love to be around popular Powerful, rich, black men. These are the facts. Some of you guys who don't understand what I'm talking about, y'all clearly ain't lived that life or had any taste of that. So don't talk about what you haven't experienced, bro. Man, I'm on YouTube, bro. I'm on YouTube. I ain't nobody. And even I got clout chasers, bro. What the freak? I've had them in the past, bro. Lots of beef over clout. Clout is a very powerful thing. Clout will get you canceled. Clout will get people jealous of you. Clout breaks up friendships. It breaks up friendships. Long-term friendships. Clout. Popularity. To be celebrated. That shit don't mean nothing to me. But I do understand that it means something to a lot of people, especially women in the 1970s and 80s, when everybody was doing drugs, especially in Hollywood. Quaaludes is a banned drug. Cosby had the loots. Cosby said in the deposition, I never gave them quaaludes without their approval. They asked for it consistently. They're the ones that wanted it. Not one time in the dep deposition does Cosby tell on himself saying, I gave them drugs without them knowing. If you give someone drugs without them knowing and then have sex with them because they can't consent, yes, that's rape. That's wrong. He'd be in jail right now. But he didn't. They wanted to get drugged. They wanted to get high. They wanted to party. You're not making it realistic. This is the 80s. Everybody's on lines, coke, drugs. My God. So they ask for the lewds and, and then it goes down. And then you there's there is a such thing as regret. You know, sometimes they wake up and they regret it. They regret, oh my God, I slept with this man. Or for the most part, a lot of it, a lot of this stuff backfires when they don't get the, the benefits they thought they were gonna get. You came to my house, I'm Bill Cosby, I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars, we had sex, we had drug sex and all that, you woke up two weeks later, you're still not in a movie, you still don't have a million dollars in your bank account, she feels like she was due more than that, she probably felt used, and she said, I'm gonna get you then, mother frigger. and she got him for three million dollars, that's what the deposition was about, and here's why Bill Cosby went free, because this very same deposition that the attorney said, I'm not, it's gonna be private, the, the prosecutor told Bill Cosby, what you say in this deposition cannot be used against you criminally in the court of law. And Bill Cosby relied on that. And that very same deposition was used in the criminal case back in 2015 that got him persecuted. That is unconstitutional. That is illegal. How did that happen, though? How come the new prosecutor didn't catch that? How come the, the defense didn't catch it? How come the... How come no one caught this? Well, the defense was on to it, but they couldn't really get on it right away. It took time. But that's where the legal system failed this man. It was a rush job. That's how fast you go from being innocent to being in prison. He went from chilling, he was putting to a bill, man. So when we talk about you, what do you mean? Yeah, man, he's saying you raped him and shit, bro. Me? Yeah, you, bro. So uh, put your cock away. Put on your drawers. Put the jello up. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Went to the court. Five women turned into 10, turned into 30, turned into 60. Turned into deposition being shown. Painted him as a rapist, bro. The deposition painted him as a rapist because they heard him saying that he was doing drugs with women and having sex with them. And the way he was so aloof about sex and sexual intercourse with women. 90% of them were white. 
Bill Cosby, you talking about black power and all this? Man, you having sex with none but white women, bro, except like three? Man, shut up, Bill. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? That shit is weird to me, bro. He's a fraud. Oh, white women do look good, though. I, all women look good, but I don't. But when you're one of these people, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, Bill Cosby's free because the legal system failed him. Whether or not you believe he's innocent or not is on you. But to call him a rapist, now you're casting judgment without evidence. Because there's no proof that he raped anybody. There's no evidence that he raped anybody. All there is is hearsay. And the main reason why he was in jail was from the testimony from one person, Constand, the same person who had orgas orgasms and sexual, inter sexual innuendos with him after wanting to take drugs with him and then getting a $3 million settlement from him. Coming back 10 years later when Me Too popped off to get some more clout and hype and money. That's who that was. That's what that was. Then they allowed other women to attach on and hear their testimony. And, they, and, and that's where the legal system failed him. And he did what? Two years, three years in prison almost? Almost three years in prison? Well, they're going to owe this man some money. Now they got to pay. Now they got to cut him a check. That's going to have to be a fat check. Because his earning power for three years of his life, prime life as an old man, Oh, man, they probably got to give him some like 30, 40 million dollars. We'll see what happens. But that's how I feel about Bill Cosby, bro. He's a uh, scummy, uh, abusive as far as like his his marriage. You destroyed your marriage by cheating on your wife. You're a scummy, lying, dece deceiving, hypocrite of a man. But you're also a black man who got done wrong by the system. And that is a dime a dozen in today's society. That's how I feel about it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more of that real content. I'm Jody Joe, and I'm out this thing, man. Deuces.